Welcome back guys. Today we are going to take a look at this lawnmower battery that is dead. Or actually, is it dead or not? Most of the batteries that you get from e-bikes or lawnmowers or other equipment are equipped with a BMS. So is this one as well. I have picked the battery apart and removed the sleeving that is all around it. And we will now take a look at it. This battery in particular are not 18650 but a bigger brand and those are lithium iron phosphate batteries. That means that their nominal voltage is 3.2 volt. The thing is with the BMS is this is a balancing and a protection system as I have been talking about before. So a common thing with lawnmower batteries or electric bike batteries is that you left them is that you leave them over win winter and then when you get the bike or lawnmower out again the battery doesn't charge or even start up your machinery. So what is it that have happened? Uh, the thing is this BMS here will stop the output and input if a cell goes below or above a certain threshold. Below a certain threshold this one I think it is around 2 volt will cut off all the charge and discharge functionality. If it goes above 3.65 or 75 volt, this one will actually stop the discharge port and start to actually discharging or balancing the pack. So let's take a look at this one. I have the multimeter here and see what voltage we get out of it. You can see it reads 10.8 volt and that may say yeah but it read voltage then it should work that's not the case so basically this is one two three four five six seven eight cell of the lithium iron phosphate and that equals to a 24 volt system so let's bring this over to my bench meter or my bench power supply and see what we can do about it. I have my trusty little bench power supply here if you want to see how to build one of those Please check out the video down in the description or the video in the top here. Uh, this one I now have set to 24 volt uh, around there and 600 milliamp. And I'm shorting it out and I'll take my pros and shorting it out just to see. Uh, 600 milliamp. So let's connect this to the battery itself. And you can see there is no sign of it actually taking charge. And the reason for that, as I said before, is the actual BMS. So how do we get this working? First of all, let's take a look at the battery and so let's measure the first cell. We can see that this one reads half a volt. Second one reads one volt. Third one reads three volt. That one is okay. 1.7 3 volt M 1 volt 3 volt and 0 0.7 volt so basically the problem is that we have many of the cells way too low and the reason for that is that this have been sitting doing nothing during a winter. Can we revive this? Most likely yes we can. If the cells aren't damaged in any other way and have self discharge or low capacity we can get this battery working as long as the BMS is fine. So we take our bench supply again and we lower the voltage down to um, I would say uh, 3.2 volt or 3.3 volt or somewhere around that and I'm going to push this rather fast so I'm letting it sit on 600 milliamp um, you should slowly bring them back to life again at around 50 to 100 milliamp that's the recommended so now it's just a matter of actually Checking which one is which here to make sure that we have this is the positive side. No, this is the negative side up here, and we have the positive down here, so we don't short them out. 
and we can now see when I connect this up that this one is actually charging so this is basically what you need to do with each of the cells since they are so out of line you can of course do it with connecting the whole pack in series without the BMS and charge it up like that but then you need to make sure that they are in balance uh, just so you know I will show you that as well and we'll measure during that so we set this up again 24 volt so we basically have the negative side here and we have the positive side on this end here and we can see that the voltage is slowly raising meanwhile we do that we take our voltmeter and cross check one of the cells you can see that this one is already up to 1.4 volt and we take one of the one was higher this one is 3 volt and I know that this will most likely be fine doing it this way if you aren't sure charge them up one by one so I will let this pack sit here now and get back to you in a couple of minutes we have now been charging this for a while and I'm still charging full pack so let's see the voltage of the different cells the first one is up to 3 volt 3.1 volt and then we jump a step 3.1 3 3.2 3.2 3.3 3.3 3.2 so they are as you can see balancing up nicely and the reason for that is because they have been top balanced before so the lowest one is actually ones with lowest capacity left so let this sit for a mo little bit more time and then we'll go back and see if we can charge it via the BMS port instead. The pack have now been sitting after it has been charged. So let's see the voltage a little bit quick. And we can read 25.4 volt. So let's hook it up to the charger through the BMS port. So let's start it up again. 26 volt set, 3 amp and we start this on and we go back and hook this up negative to negative and positive to positive and if you can see this now you can now see that I can charge through the BMS port again so basically I can take this battery and now hook it up to my lawn mower again and it will work just fine beware of that the first charge cycles it will need to do the balancing as well because it have been down to zero so guys I want to thank you for watching this video I hope you learned something that uh, just because you have lawnmower or an e-bike with a battery it doesn't work anymore it's not 100% dead most common thing is actually that it has been discharged below the threshold of the BMS and when that happens it disconnects the charge plug or the plug itself uh, the thing about this one, it can also be electronic issues, but in that case you can still charge your battery up, remove the BMS and use it for something else. So once again guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, check out the links down below, press the subscribe button, press the notification bell button as well, and I see you in the next video, and thank you and bye.